Hi all, hi all doing. Um, today I was planning to put my elevated seats uh, on my wave ski with glue. So rip the Velcro off and put it on with a uh, glue. But uh, I'm a bit frustrated because uh, my elevated seat uh, hurts my back and back pain is never good. So um, it's back to uh, workshop uh, crafting and uh, look at what I got here. I got a whole set of foam, three centimeters, 1.8 centimeters. Um, I got this seat with already um, some foam under it, which I shaved uh, earlier. Uh, and which goes in the back from uh, three centimeters to in the front to one centimeter. But first, let me let me explain why an elevated seat. Now, um, the higher you sit, uh, the more responsiveness and the more control you have in your turns. But the higher you sit, also the less stable you are. And um, so, uh, raising your seat is only something uh, for when you're ready and you have enough balance and when you're ready to uplift the game and uh, uh, put a higher seat on to be more responsive in the turns but you feel stable enough now uh, let me show you what why I am uh, busy so long with uh, this seat uh, if you follow me on my social media you know that since uh, past summer I am already busy with uh, the seat pet project and <laughs> I'm still not done not at all um, let me show you with this three uh, centimeter foam when I put it here there's a whole bucket under it and I was afraid that if we, if I would glue it on that uh, you know with this depth under my seat it would not stick enough and uh, it will release. So I was thinking of a way how to fill uh, this gap. And what I've come up with is uh, to shave the sides so I would fill in more in the gap. And also I uh, made some cuts in a foam. Uh, when I sit on it, it's easier to fit in uh, and fill in the gap. Um, so I hope this would uh, stick better. Um, and why is my foam larger than my seat? Well, actually, I already made it, um, an elevated seat, and that was uh, uh, it was working well. But when you look at the bucket of the wave ski and you look at the seat, um, you know the seat is way smaller than the bucket. And I thought with making uh, the foam as wide as a bucket um, when I make my turns this is just a theory that I was testing um, with making the foam as wide as a bucket in my turns when I push with my hips I will have more control if the foam let me put it on if the foam is as wide as a bucket but now uh, I've tested it in the canal, uh, just close by here. I Just a one minute walk and I'm at the canal where I can test uh, my seats. After some paddling, 10 minutes of paddling, my back hurts. Uh, so, and that's not good. Um, so, back to uh, working with other IDs. I got this three centimeter foam that I want to uh, cut out in the shape of the seat to get back to the original ID. I think the problem with this seat is that when I put it in, uh, um, in a bucket, that is, that is why I have this glass of water with me. Uh, not because I'm thirsty, but I was testing out something. I was testing out, let me turn the camera again. I was testing it out where the water would stay if I poured it on. So to see um, how I should put my uh, seat, because when I was posting messages on social media, 
about my uh, CPAP project. I was uh, getting lots of ideas and lots of um, lots of comments and uh, lots of advices. Thank you all for that. And um, one of the advices was that I have to put the seat a bit like this uh, because this is better for your back. Actually, uh, the other advantage of putting an elevated seat uh, next to that it gives you more responsiveness, it also uh, relieves uh, your back. It puts less stress on your back. So it's strange that with this elevated seat um, that I am uh, having back pain. Uh, but I think the problem is that the seat is a bit like this and then it's pushed in. So I'm, 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 I'm just too, too low in, in my seat. Um, I can try to fix that with shaving off. I'm just using, uh, where do I have it? I don't have it here. I'm using uh, sanding paper. This was all flat, this was just a block and I shaved it off first with rough sanding paper and afterwards with, uh, 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 how do you say it, but with lighter sanding paper. Uh, but I can shave it off some more and what I can do to uh, make sure that the seat sits like this is to uh, use more sanding paper to shave this part off. Um, but I'm not sure if my theory about uh, the sides to, to get more grip and control in the turns, if that theory works. So for that, I want to cut out this three centimeter foam in the um, um, shape of the seat. And this is five centimeter block, just under a plain uh, seat. And if I use this uh, three centimeter block with this seat where I already have some foam under, the actual height will be similar to this seat. And then I have a third ID, which is, I got this um, 1.8, 1.8 centimeter foam and uh, well you can already see um, I just could cut it out uh, yesterday evening it's from the same block as this one and you see this is uh, kind of straight and you see already the concave in this seat and this happened happened just by um, putting it on the buckets let me show you by putting it on the bucket of the wave ski. It's, fun, it's, 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 it's actually funny because uh, when I was working with all the foams, this foam feels r rather firm. Uh, so I was afraid that this would not bend so much. But actually, oh, I still have the water in it. Wait a sec. So I, uh, when I put this uh, foam on the bucket, See, there's still a gap here. I can push my, I can put my whole hand under it. But when I sit on it, um, I would go for this combination. Put my seat on, and if I go sit on it, You see that, do you see that concave? The seat takes the shape of the, of the board. So this is actually what I want. So this, this solves my problem of, of having these buckets. And I think with some good glue, um, I got the advice to use um, um, a carpet adhesive uh, in a spray. So I bought that and I'm the first the test and afterwards if I'm sa finally satisfied I hope I get it right uh, soon uh, because I'm a bit frustrated with this project now I like experimenting but it has to come to an end I'm so busy with this project and I want to have this finished uh, now so um, that's it bye bye